Hey guys, I'm Gabby Bodkin from Great to Draw Film. Today, I'll talk, today we're going to talk about the water cycle. Is anyone interested? Yeah. Well, today is a lucky day because I'll be teaching you all about the water cycle. Does anybody know what the water cycle is? No. The water cycle describes the process of movement between the ocean, atmosphere, and land. And today, we're going to talk about the stages of the water cycle. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I didn't hear you. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Well, let's get into it. Stage 1. Evaporation. This is when the heat from the sun warms the water, turns into an invisible gas called water vapor. This invisible gas along with other gases rise in the air. Now come with me to my kitchen to show you an example of evaporation. These are the droplets. These droplets are bound together to cause even bigger droplets, which takes us to stage three, precipitation. So now I'll go down my backyard to show you something like precipitation. So guys, we're back in my backyard. So now I'm going to tell you about stage three, which is precipitation. This is when the water droplets eventually get too heavy in the clouds and fall, thus causing what we know as rain, hail, or snow. Is it raining? And this is what happens after condensation. Rain starts to fall. <laughs> This will lead us to stage 4 Collection Stage, stage 4 Collection when rain, when rain falls, it goes in oceans, rivers and lakes It even sinks to the soil which is called groundwater It is here where the water cycle repeats itself from stage 1 This is an example for collection. This is an example for collection. As rain is spring, the water inside the pond, it is collection. 
Hey guys, this is the visualization of how the water cycle looks. This is evaporation, this is condensation, this is precipitation, and this is collection. Do you do you guys like my drawing? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Thank you for watching and peace.